What's up everybody? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only Bird motherfucking Dines, bitch. So, before I start cooking, I want to thank Barbara Nelson. Bitch, you didn't have to, but she sent me a, a, a Christmas, a birthday gift. And I fucking love it, bruh. Look, it says Cooking with Bird Martinez and it's like a whole set. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. Like, bitch, little things like this melt my motherfucking heart. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I think I'm going to put it in that corner right there. It's a perfect spot, but I still need to get a nail. Um, I just want to say thank you. This um, lady, she really rocks me. I have her on my Snapchat. And I love talking to her. She's a very down-to-earth, real fucking bitch. Thank you so much. But anyways, um, so today I'm just going to make some... Tacos dorados de pollo, like speedy, like let's do this because I'm running late. So I bought some chicken that's already made. And I like this brand, Simple Truth. I usually like the black pepper, but didn't have any today. Because look at the ingredients. Chicken, salt, and water. Simple. We don't need none of that extra shit. And we're going to make tacos dorados with it. So I got some um, cheese. We got some tortillas up in this bitch. Some crema. And the salsa. It's gonna, I'm gonna keep it simple. Tomatoes and chile serrano. Some onion and tomato to top it off. So yeah, this is for the days that you just wanna get shit done. You're fucking in a hurry. You don't have time to get all fucking fancy. Cause sometimes, bitch, it's not even about getting fancy. Sometimes you got to get shit done. And it's like, it's it real out here. It's it real out here in the streets of California. But sometimes even if you're in a hurry, you need to just slow down, you know. You know, do your thing. So I'm going to start by shredding this bitch. So I'm just going to shred the chicken like so. You know the drill. It's the, so the thing on my tripod, it's like the thick is, I don't know, too short for the damn vagina. So if you guys know of, an, of a tripod that's good. It's not too pricey because I don't like spending too much money. I mean, I know quality, but this... This tripod was working really good for me. I don't know what the fuck happened. Um, but anyways, I really like this pollo because it's soft and it's not too salty. And sometimes when I buy the other um, chicken from Ralph's or wherever, they overcook it and it, it gets smaller. I don't know why, but when you when you overcook um, chicken, it's the, it gets shrinks. I don't know what the fucking science behind that motherfucker is. But yeah, true story, bro. True, true story. So, it's up to you guys if you guys want to leave the skin or not. La pinche cucaracha. So anyways, um, the cucaracha sells illegal fireworks. <laughs> and I am so excited. Porque um, I want to, you know, for December 12th. Mexicans, it's the, the Virgin Mary's el cumpleaños de la morenita. So they're gonna have like a fucking, like a thing for her. That's why all the Mexicans are named Guadalupe. Because if you're born in December 12, you're born on that day. So that's why they be naming everybody in their mama Guadalupe. But anyways, este, see the chick, the bones over there? Those are the ones I'm gonna give to the cats. And that's why I leave a little meat. Because right now it's cold and it's hard for the cats to find Notice food. that there's like two pregnant cats. And I feel so bad for them because right now it's cold. So de por si, it's hard to find food. So imagine how hungry they are. Because every time I go outside, they're like, meow, meow. And I'm like, you bitches hungry? I swear, I, I wish you guys could hear my crazy ass talking to the damn cats. I'm always like, what's up, fools? You know, they just mad dog me. I don't know. If I don't give them food, they look at me like. And they get scared. What if they fucking are um, putting a curse on me or something? Because in Mexico, they say that the witches are cats or the cats are witches or some bullshit. Where my suegro's from, my suegro's from Guanajuato. He swears up and down that he's seen witches fly in the air. But that's some Mexican shit. I don't really know. My mom says some shit like that too. Mad dog me, fool. You don't want me to record you? You better eat that shit. Look at this baby right here. Look at the nogas I'm giving you food. I'm not gonna take it away from you. Shred it on my pollo. Now I got my water. 
and I'm gonna put it two, four, six tomates just because I want extra salsa. And I'm gonna put two, four to the motherfucking six to the eight. Eight chile serranos. Like a pickle culo, motherfuckers. Plastic bag, I'm gonna put 20 tortillas in the microwave. For two minutes. Yeah, my microwave is kind of old. It's been through some shit. It doesn't even have a handle. And I used to put crazy glue or gorilla glue, but it didn't work. So, yeah. But it still works. We just go like this. Boom. Tortillas are ready. Están todas sudaditas. And they're ready to go. And the reason I microwave them, you guys probably know this, is because when you roll them up, you don't want them to break. So, yeah, that's pretty much the reason. ¿Y qué más les iba a decir? I don't say something. Pinche chisme, ya se me olvidó. Pero, anyways, este, yeah. I want to thank everybody for watching. Little old me, bitch. Let's do this. It starts boiling. I turn it off because you don't need to overdo it. It'll cook with the vapor. Con el vaporcito se va a cocinar that bitch right there. Probably most of you motherfuckers already know how to make this, but you know what? I, somebody told me in the comments that they most of the food that I've made, they already know, but they, they, like, they like watching my shit because they get ideas. Like, oh, what should I cook today? Hmm, I don't know. Let me go to Bert Martinez's channel to see what the fuck she's cooking. And then you get an idea, I see. Because, bitch, trust me, it is fucking hard to fucking come with ideas every motherfucking day. You don't appreciate that shit until you grow up and you're like, damn. My mom really did that all her life. She really cooked it up for me. And now I have to cook shit up and think. Not only, sometimes you have the money, you have the fucking kitchen, but you just, your head is just like, mm, I don't know what I'm going to cook today. Like that. And then you ask your fucking husband, you ask your fucking kids and they're like, I don't know. So you have to think for yourself. And then sometimes you have no money and you want to cook this up, but then no se puede. So you have to make some shit up. And then sometimes um, you can't even go out, so you just make some shit up. I've done that so many times. Hey. So if you make them too fat, you're going to risk the fucking meat, the pollo coming out, falling out. So what I do is I try to have it as, you know, as even as I can. But if it does come out, it's okay. Fuck it, thug life. You know, chingue su madre. So put it in the corner, and then you fold it. And the make sure the bottom is like down so like that it won't open up and it's the same thing you know the drill so that's my son my crazy ass son and like this see i don't like it because when you take a bite it's like a weird piece of chicken that you don't know what the fuck it is it could be a butthole what is this part of the pollo also mario doesn't like those parts that's why he always tells me make sure you give me the the chicken with the, the chicken breast. Because he likes the white meat. I didn't even know what white meat, dark meat was in pollo. I thought it was all the same. But then Mario told me. Mario used to work at KFC. I worked at Subway. As a matter of fact. My first job was um the Boys and Girls Club when I was 14. Yes, bitch. I was 14 and I didn't get paid. I only got paid every month. So my first check, I guess how much it was at six, uh, uh, as a little teenager. Yeah, I was 14. It was $1,000. Mm -hmm. Back then, I thought I was richer than all these bitches. So I had $1,000. And then the Jimmy, the guy from the park, he took us to like a place. Like, I don't know where it was, but it was like a mall, a plaza. And we just bought clothes. And I was so happy. It was the happiest day of my life. Because, bitch, when you're, like, that age, all you want is clothes. You don't even care, you know? You just want to look good. That's all you care about, your looks. I remember I bought these tight-ass white pants with this white shirt and some Nike Cortez. Your girl look good. Bitch, I was a Nike Cortez queen. Still have my Nike Cortez. Well, I have some yellow ones now. But those, I don't know. I just like how they look. You know, I want some red ones. All red. And some pimp shit right there. What you know about that? For the salsa, what I'm gonna do is I don't like to use water because I like my shit tight or not tight. Como se dice? Espesa. I'm put an onion, a garlic, and some salt. Let me get my salt. Two tablespoons of salt. 
Like a design, like Chingar Sumadre, you see? You wanna see? It's been, it was heating up since for like five minutes. So yeah. Beautiful, and I need remember, the bottom side goes first because that we want it to like stick to the thing so they don't spread out. I don't know what the fuck you call it. Pero chingue su madre. I'm gonna call this tacos dorados under 30 minutes. Maybe like that. People will be like, ooh, 30 minutes under 30 minutes. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, my God. Oh my God. But yeah. Ya ves que bonito se mira. Que chua. Mira que chua. They cook for about three minutes. I'm gonna start flipping them or put them to the side like a, like a circle like this so it should be cut on all each side other side like this see para que se cocinen a todos los lados si sabes and as much as I tried some of them will rip but it's okay it's like I like the shade, there's the light skin, the dark skin, the extra well done. Match is pretty much done. Chinga su madre. Chinga su madre. They're about to be done. I'm just gonna cut my sides, meaning my tomatoes. Porque I like to put tomatoes. Este, que mas? Onion. Que mas? And the cabbage. You don't have to do all that, but it just gives it more flavor and it goes really good with the tomato. You know, when you're eating your taco. Y luego, you get a piece of onion y chingue su madre. It's really good. I don't know. I think a lot of people use lettuce, but I'm a cabbage person, red chicken person. Um, pretty much, I don't really use lettuce unless I'm going to make like a salad or some shit. But I'm always using este. Red chicken. And also the cheese. Ya lo partí. Aquí tengo más, but this one's the one from last week. So I don't want to open a new package unless I need so. I need to. Y ya. Ahorita le voy a echar cremita y vámonos a comer. Mandy. Ya está la comida. This is how I dress them up. I know everybody has their own way, their own thing. Pero yo le echo la crema first. Like Mandy, she just likes them with... um crema and cheese that's it this is how i make them so the crema goes first then i add a lot of red chicken then i add the queso queso fresco because we fresco up in this beach and yes i do add a lot because that's the whole point of eating these tacos un chingo de queso si no vas a comer entonces para que you know what i'm saying I don't know. That's how I think of my fucking big ass head of mine with my three voices. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a salsita. See how it just goes down like that? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Y luego los tomatitos. This one's too thick, but it's okay. And then the onions, beach. Y ahí está. Ta da! Ooh, wee! Ooh, ooh, wee! So they wanted to say how much they like the tacos. They're bomb, you guys. I love it. Mm -hmm. When this she opens a fun. restaurant, you guys have to come. Mm -hmm. That's bomb. I, I haven't eaten. I'm waiting for my burger. Sofia wants a burger. But yeah, Angelica, my sister, she was like, they came back for more. Angelica ate like eight. So then she, Mandy ate like six. And Sofia <laughs> ate zero. And Sofia ate zero. <laughs> We're making some burgers on the side for Sofia. And I know a lot of parents are against this, like, oh, like my mom. She's like, well, what I make is what you're going to eat. Da -da 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 -da. And yes, I agree with that because your kids have to be like, you know what I'm saying? They have to go with the flow. They have to just be like, I'll be picky and shit. Because you learn, you know, you learn how to be fucking humble and shit. 
But that's how it was for me growing up. And a lot of the times, I didn't want to eat chile. I mean, I just wanted to be a kid. So now that I'm older and I'm a mother, and if Sofia wants some burgers or something on the side, I will do it. Not all the time, but I do it because I can. You know, I feel I do it because I have the means to do it, and I don't feel like I'm over spoiling her. I'm just like, you know, taking my time and being extra, a little extra, but because I love them. And I know that our parents and be like, well, why are you making two dishes? You know, take a tanto. But you know what? I do it because I love these motherfuckers. Okay, so that's what they look like, bitch. It's them. I put extra onion, extra red chicken on mine. Can't even find the damn taco. They're all buried in there. Mmm. These bitches are bomb. The kids came for seconds and seconds and seconds. Mmm. Mmm. It's perfect with that salsa. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So we have her burger. Her burger hot dog? What is it? It is a burger that looks like a hot dog. It's a burger that looks like a hot dog. But I can make the hot dog shape. I'm not telling you, Mama. Let me just react to this bit right now. Mmm. 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 Sophia. Sophia. De, de, de lo que te estás perdiendo, güey. Oh. Mm. Ay, yo, baña. ¿Qué te doy, güey? Love, why are you so mad at the burger? What did it do to you? Nothing, I am. That is my sweetest face, mommy. Mmm. Remember, the rotisserie chicken is a secret. You motherfucker, you try this. I'm telling you. Easy and bomb, bomb ski skis, motherfucker, like for real, for real. But anyways, to ah uh, my motherfucking bird gang, 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 motherfuckers, I love you, peace and love. Okay, bye, so we are.